Sulfuric acid is corrosive. Nitric acid is corrosive. Toluene is flammable. Nitric toluene is mutagenic, toxic, carcinogenic, and just treat better generally. Wear gloves when handling them. Work outside or in the season. In this video, we'll be synthesizing nitrotoluene, an industrial building block for organic synthesis. Nitrotoluene comes in two isomers, paranitrotoluene and orthonitrotoluene. We can isolate both. We begin by adding our sulfuric acid to our nitric acid. This is done in something called an ice bath. It is important to keep the reaction cool as this prevents formation of dinitrotoluene. The toluene is added to the flask, along with a stirfish. This flask is then placed into an ice bath. To this will be slowly added our previously prepared nitrogen mixture. Here you can see the cold nitrogen mixture being added to the flask. Note that it fumes in air and is very viscous. Sadly, the nitrating mixture was added too quickly with insufficient stirring. This resulted in a lack of reaction and the formation of two distinct layers. To salvage the reaction, the layers are separated and the acid is added more gradually this time. begins with an acid catalyzed dehydration of nitric acid. This yields with lots of water and the nitronium ion. This nitronium ion can then be attacked with the benzene ring of the toluene, yielding the carbocation intermediate. When this intermediate is deprotonated, it yields our final product of two nitrotoluene. This reaction can also happen on the four position carbon rule. After the complete addition of the acid, the flask is left in warm water to react. The layers are separated and the top nitrotoluene layer is washed multiple times with distilled water, with a final washing with sodium bicarbonate. The nitrotoluene is dried with anhydrous magnesium sulfate.
The magnesium sulfate is filtered off and a vacuum distillation is prepared. The distillate is put into a small beaker and then frozen in the freezer at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The frozen cake is then placed into a vacuum filter and filtered. The paranitrotoluene will stay solid at room temperature, while the orthonitrotoluene will go through the filter. Sadly, however, this separation is not very good and there will be contamination in both. Our final yield is about 10 milliliters of a yellow liquid that does not freeze at minus 20. The paranitrotoluene that was initially solid in the filter seems to have melted and overall this reaction did not go very well. I still hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, rate, and comment to hydrolyze the algorithm.